So we're going to make interlocking triangles. This is again a six point construction just like yesterday's. If you remember your uh, construction lines from yesterday, then go ahead and, and move ahead, but then you're going to have to wait for us to catch up. Either way, I don't care. So our first step is to make a center point. And when we're making our construction lines, it is critical that you remember to make your construction lines very light. So then you're going to place your tip, the tip of the uh, compass, on your center point. I'm just verifying that I am on my center point, a little bit above the center point. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Now your circle, you want to be as large as possible without going off the page. So my circle is just barely contained on the page, so we're, we're okay. Then after you draw your circle, you're going to remove your compass without allowing it to change its setting. And then you're going to draw a diameter. And again, make sure you remember to make every all your lines light. You will need to erase at some point. Then, without allowing your compass setting to change, you're going to place the compass point at the intersection of your diameter and your circle. It's about right. And you're going to draw an arc on either side of your diameter, like this. Then you're going to take your compass and place it on the other intersection of your diameter and your circle and do the same thing. You're going to make two arcs, one on either side of your diameter. And before we continue making the construction lines, we're going to double check to make sure that our drawing is accurate. And we can do that by <coughs> verifying that the distance from all of our intersections is the same. Now we already know that the distance from this arc to the this intersection is the same as from this intersection to this arc because we just drew it. What we don't know, however, is we, we haven't verified that the intersection of this arc and the circle to this arc to this intersection is the same. And we've, we've just proved that with the compass. So uh, I will also double check the other side. But if one if, if the distance from the bottom arc, the intersection of the bottom arcs is the same, then there's a good chance this is right too. And it is. So I am actually perfect at this point on this drawing. <coughs> so now I'm going to draw two more diameters. And I'm going to draw them by connecting the intersection of the arc <coughs> across the center like this. So there's one, and I'll draw the other one across here. And at this point, we have a, a chance to double check we're right. Now, if all of the diameters meet at one point, you know you are doing everything correctly. Now, mine is a little bit off. So, and you may not even be able to tell on, on your computer at home. So you see how my, com my ruler jumps from pixel to pixel. It's really not a whole lot better. Let's see if that's any better. Yeah, that one is actually a little bit better. So I'm going to erase my original. All right, so now my next step is in the previous, the, the previous drawing, we now then made a hexagon. 
Now, we don't need a hexagon for this construction. If you went ahead and made your hexagon, it's not a big deal, don't worry about it. But since I know that we're not gonna use it, I'm not gonna draw it. But what I do need to draw, however, is I need to connect the <coughs> point of intersection with e every other point of intersection. So I'm going to go ahead and connect, oops. I'm going to go ahead and connect every point of intersection with every other point of intersection. So you know what, why don't I just go ahead and make the hexagon as well? Just so I'm staying consistent. I'm just, oops, that's not what I want to do. So I'm just connecting all my points of intersection across the circle. That one's already connected, obviously. It's the diameter. That one seems to be working out better. And you'll notice as you work your way around the circle, you'll have less lines to connect at each vertex. That obviously makes sense. We're almost done here, and we have all the other ones. Moving on to this one here. The only one that I have remaining is this one right here. So now I've connected all of my intersections. Now there's another way to check that everything is right so far. So the first check is to make sure that all of your diameters meet in one spot. You'll also notice that you should have a second hexagon right here and all sides should be the same length. If that's the case, then you've done everything right so far. Now it's time for us to find our hidden lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first group everything here. Oops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to lock that down. And you'll notice that at the top of the example, the point is, is facing at the t on the top of the page. So obviously, I'm going to need one of my points to be on top of the page. And so I'm going to rotate my construction lines so that, oops, I'm now going to rotate my construction line so that I have a point at the top of the page. All right, excellent. All right. So now we are going to, oops. I will wait for you, ladies and gentlemen. Just going to send this down to the to the bottom layer. All right. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken in the lines that define my triangles. So obviously, this point here occurs right here. Which line do I follow to make the triangle? Do I follow this line here? or this line here? Yeah. Okay. 
So this line comes down, and you'll notice that it comes to about the midpoint of this circle, or sorry, triangle. So what intersection will I connect this point with? This one? No. No? This one? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. OK, good, because that is the correct one. So I'm going to connect that point there. Can you make it darker? Yeah. These, these are the dark lines. So now the next question is, what do I connect this point of intersection here with? So I'm here in my drawing. So where do I connect this point with? Yeah. Ian? So uh, between the yellow and the, and the blue here? OK. So I'm going to connect these points here. And then obviously my last triangle is here. So there's one of your triangles. The rest is up to you. Be very careful on how you uh, do your erasing so that you make the triangles appear to be interlocking one on top of the other. <coughs> I wish you luck. The part two video shows you how to finish the whole thing.